Good afternoon, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Uh, for me, this is a great honor to have this presentation for uh, uh, the Tianjin uh, Super High Rise Building Structure Design. This project is uh, uh, in the Tianjin New District area. The building area is around 400,000 square meters. The, the tallest, the tallest building, the taller building, is about the height is about 358 meters, 88 stories. Uh, this structure is uh, a new, or maybe you can say, it's, to be say, it's an innovative structure. We use the hexagonal, hexagonal grid exterior tuber. It's not open. Now it's. We can see. We use this exterior. Uh, In this area. Uh, from middle to the bottom is the use the uh, hexagonal exterior tuber. Work with the inside concrete core together as the main structure. And the curtain wall is is between the uh, between the exterior wall. Uh, the foundation is like this. Is uh, this is the main building? Use the pile foundation, and the whole basement is. This area is uh, for the car parking and the MEP. This is another T1 story, a T1 building. T1 building is about 100 meter high. Uh, based on the the Tianjin uh, site, uh, we used a pile foundation for this uh, this building, but uh, different kinds of piles, different lengths, and uh, different diameters. Of piles. The design control is by the government and uh, by the bearing capacity. Now we talk about main talk about T two. We can see the inside core work with the tuber together. Exterior tuber is uh, from the uh, above the ground to the about fifty story is use the hexagonal exterior tuber. Above that. Use the diagonal net tube, tube, uh, tube, tube. Um, about, uh, in this area, the function is for the hotel. Uh, downstairs is uh, uh, this area. The lower part is for the office. Uh, the in the core. We use the uh, the thickness is from 1.5 meter to 0.55 meters for the exterior, the coarse exterior wall, and inside inter internal wall is the thickness is the 550 millimeters. Um, uh, based on the stiffness requirement and uh, bearing capacity requirement, especially for the shear, uh, we use the uh, steel plate inside in the exterior wall, as here. This is in the in this area. The the story is from first story until uh, to to twenty twenty story. 
Good, enough, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to join our session. Uh, exterior Cuba I am is, Li, we just uh, already uh, said, from the above, below the 50 stories is used the hexagonal grid net structure. Today, I really will in, uh, tell some things about uh, this kind of new structure design main features. The, uh, the structure framing is, uh, we can see the, in the, in the, uh, in the hexagonal uh, tube, we some use the, for the column, use the concrete field rectangular steel pipe. And uh, in the corner, use the rectangular steel pipe, no concrete inside. Uh, the floor is the pin connection between core and uh, exterior tube by the uh, steel beam. And uh, the floor slab thickness is from 100 to 120. Only for the MEP area, use the 150. Now I talk about four key technologies for the T2 structure. First is we, tr we try to explore the hexagonal grid structures working performance. Uh, important issue is rigid connection is the based uh, the based uh, key point. Otherwise, the stability and uh, bearing capacity will be some problem. And uh, second issue, we find the under the vertical load, we can find every column the the bending moment like this. The counter uh, frac point in the middle 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 span. So this is under the vertical load. This is we can see the working the deformation. So for this kind of structure, the bending moments and the shear forces is the main factors. Uh, of course, actual force will go through from up to the downstairs. But at the same time, when the actual force large, the bending moments will be large, shear force will be large because the structure framing. And uh, under the horizontal loads, the uh, situation is similar as the vertical loads. Also, we can see the bending moments go through like this way. Okay. But um, under the vertical load, because the because the the great bending moments, so the along the vertical direction, the stiffness is much more smaller than the normal uh, frame structure. And the second issue, under the horizontal loads, the structure stiffness is very good. This is the, this structure is the very special features. And the solution, solution one, pin connection. Pin connection is, means uh, the steel beam pin connected with the inside core and exterior tube. Because the vertical loads, vertical stiffness for the exterior tube are not so strong like uh, other framing structure. So this is, can accommodate the differential deformation between core and exterior tube. And uh, second solution, not use the oblique. 
if we use the outrig, will increase the moment um, upon applied upon the exterior cuba. This is uh, not so good for uh, hexagonal exterior cube because under the vertical row is already not so good. So autorig is not so good for this structure. <coughs> Second issue. We, uh, from that picture, we already see the under the vertical load, and, uh, and uh, we can see the, the horizontal beam is uh, the, the, the moment in horizontal beam not so larger as the, as the, uh, the columns. So we weakness of this horizontal beam will be very good for ductility, especially for the uh, earthquake design. And uh, at the same time, can reduce the cost. So the six edges, the member size are different. Two horizontal mem beam member size is smaller than the columns. This is, uh, we use the, uh, the plan, uh, 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 typical structure. At the loading is the vertical loading and the, and the horizontal loading. We can find, if we take the beam section size as 30 to 80% of the inclined columns, column section. Uh, will be much more better. We can see the uh, the vertical and the horizontal. We use areas like this area will be very beneficial. Keep the structure whole stiffness, not big change. But uh, uh, if we in increase the beam size, almost uh, no. The, the, uh, contribution for the whole structure. S third issue is we change uh, before the, that uh, everybody knows the hexagonal uh, the shape is the, the angle is 120 because this now if uh, based on the architecture requirement still keep the opening. If we change the, the angle to the green, uh, green line, uh, the section size will be smaller than the original, but the stiffness still will be good because the arm, cantilever arm, will be reduced. And uh, also, will be uh, the stiffness around the vertical direction will be s similar as the before. This is what uh, we did, uh, we can see the, if we change the angle from 30 to, uh, to 5, the, uh, the section area initials and the column length and uh, also the, the section depths will be, if we change the angle, will be small. But uh, at the same time, we calculate that use the single uh, columns model and uh, later we use this. Uh, we can find the solution is interesting is the, if we change the angle from 30 to around 80. The, this is uh, the red one is the vertical deformation for by from the shear force. This one is from the actual force. This is from the bending. The total def deformation with the angle will be smaller than before. 
with the angle uh, decrease. So reducing the the geomet geometric geometrical length of the inclined columns, reducing the horizontal arm and the same times reducing the end spending movements will be reducing the vertical deformation. Therefore, can increase the vertical stiffness of the whole, whole structure. So, in our design, finally we change the four corner, corners, the slant columns from 30 degrees to 19 degrees. This is, if we change the columns, we can find the, the total stress level is si similar as before, if we not change. But uh, the efficiency will be much more good than before and uh, can reduce in the cost because the, the column size is uh, reduced. Four is uh, strong, strong, strong joint, weak members. This is a ductile design for the earthquake. Very, very important point. So, uh, just I say is uh, we change the member size for the six edges. We change the angles for for the hexagonal uh, shapes and. Uh, Third, we change the member size, not the same as the, the whole columns. We use the strong section in the joint area and the weak section in the middle zone. At that time, we can very good realize the, the strong weak joint, weak member. This is what we did the, the test in the CABR and uh, after the test and the theoretical analysis and the research we find two, two effects. One is the, the end of the mid zoom yield f uh, f firstly. That means here. This is not yield. This is yield. And at the same time we can save the material. Boy, that means efficiency. And uh, n now I talk about uh, the stats limited shear stiffness. We, we find the tension force and, uh, and the compression force always between this all the uh, exterior tubers in the in the horizontal floor beams on this area, and uh, connected floor slab will be take some tension stress. How to solve the problem? We use the limited shear stiffness for the shear for this uh, for the. <coughs> For the stats, use this model and find. Finally, we find the design uh, com combination under the gravity law. The slab tensile stress will be dressed, dropped from five to two point three MPa. This is uh, for the slab design, very important. At the same time, the steel, uh, steel tensile stress will be a little more high than the before. So, important issue is we try to, to find the, the real structure work behavior. Five, the six issues, we use the special construction measures. Uh, because this exterior tuber is very, very important, 
especially for the uh, size uh, earthquake and the wind. So every the four corners, okay, I understand. Four corners will take m many many uh, overturning moments. So the member size will be larger than the the inside. Inside the the middle middle zone areas, the members mainly take the shear force. So because the member size is different, under the gravity loads, the going down, the same time, many loads will go to the corners. Because this is based on the design requirement. This is a, cannot be changed. So, uh, important, very difficult is the, the risk Cur uh, the vicious circle makes the corner columns design very, very difficult. You increase the, the column size and at the same time increase the gravity loads uh, and increase the bend bending moments and the actual force. So we use the two special measures. One measure is cutting the connect in the in the four corners, cutting this these beams during the construction stage, cutting the loads transfer uh, road, and the second issue, second me measure is uh, above the uh, hybrid. Uh, you these areas we take the some columns not connected during construction. Let the loads go in through this way. Of course, we, if we take that, and uh, of course we need uh, deformation analysis. Try to find uh, the, uh, the di uh, differential deformation between these two ends and uh, use the detailed design for that. And uh, same times, we try uh, at the same time for the sec second measure, and uh, the uh, tolerance special design like this, and the same time use the, uh, con the for the floor slab I use the construction uh, post cast floor strips to release that deformation. Uh, after that, we can get the results. We can uh, re reduce the uh, edge columns uh, member force about 40% like that. And uh, of course, at the same time, we will check the structure during the construction. Two important issues. One issue is under the self-structure, self-weights, the structure stability and the bearing capacity. Second issue is che check the structure under the construction stage. We take the 10 years return period wind load to check the structure safety. Uh, the structure performance is like this. I don't like to say it's a, this is a mode and uh, story <coughs> drift issues under the wing and the earthquake. This is all these issues is uh, based on it is uh, uh, to be satisfied with the Chinese code. This is the shear force and the overturning moments between core and the exterior tubers distribution around the vertical direction. So the structure under the earthquake action, the working performance like this is okay. So, uh, Sino Steel International Plaza is the first wild application of the hexagonal structure as its exterior tube of this ship high building. Elastic and uh, plastic dynamic analysis for in, under the earthquake action shows this project is, is very good. So, 
Uh, also, we talk about three invention patterns we already got in China, Pattern Bureau. Thank you.